your boy Flag All Loco, man, from Chirac, West Side Chicago. How does up coming in the world? We just gonna touch on this. We just gonna live. Come on, guys, let's meet. Hold on, yeah, they got yeah, close up. Talk to me nice, boy. Say low, go ain't with the shit, but not believe that hype, boy. They know I got dudes, but I ain't got no time to fight, boy. Shorty tangled up, he run up on me, that's your life, boy. How you talking all that rah rah? You ain't help your man. When I come through, ain't no clutching, bitch, show me your hands Run around my city with 350s, we try and make him dance Three shots to his head, this goofy rapper, he don't stand a chance If I was down on my dick, would you still love me? See, you gotta promise not to put no one above me So tell me you gon' rap this girl, I know this shit get ugly But tell me if I ain't smell so good, would you hug me? Line them up uh, Make us spin a block Millie Mask got plenty masks, so we got plenty glocks Yeah, you right, I ain't gon' budge, I'm gon' get you drop Better cool out on your temple, that's this bitch is hot What's good, y'all? We back with it on the DCL podcast with Chicago's finest, my cousin, musician, Fly Guy Loco. It's poppin', shorty. Hey, what's the word, man? How y'all feeling? Man, it's your boy, Fly Guy Loco, man, from Chirac, West Side of Chicago. Hottest upcoming nigga in the world, Craig. Not just the city, the fucking world. When did you start your rap career when did you start making music when did you know it was something like hey it's something i want to do i've been rapping since i was five years old like recording in the studio you feel me all that type of stuff you know what i'm saying this is mm -hmm. a fact do your homework like j man this is a fact about me i've been doing this my family told me that i was the one like how they be like industry plant and shit yeah i'm like a family plant i'm the one that they molded they taught me to be everything that i am from good bad to ugly you feel me mm -hmm. they planted me like this you know what i'm saying so they been told me now you the one this you you, you make music this is what we do since yeah. i was came out my mom my mama said the same thing since i came out i've been at it i just been chasing it since honestly yeah that's powerful too because you had people believing in you you had people telling you gonna make it like you said you was molded since you was younger doing this that's powerful when you got people around you one to support you two to speak belief into you yeah. for real that's all i really needed uh -huh. as far as that part like that was the support just let me know who i am you know what i'm saying uh -huh. and i took it from there my grandma been doing music independently forever you know what i'm saying since way before i was born my family They've been doing music and selling music back when it was records. That's what we do, so, <laughs> yeah, for sure. How you keep going on a day-by-day -day basis? Like, despite all the obstacles, this might discourage you, this, that. How you keep going? What in you just tells you, like, I gotta keep going every day? God and my kids, bro. I talk to God, I got a personal relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, I be talking to him, like, what up, mm -hmm. hey, what's up? You know what I'm saying, how you doing? I just feel, you know, like literally, yeah. and like, I feel like that's the best way to be, bro. That's the best way to get back. That's the best way to keep grinding. And my kids, you know what I'm saying? Once you think about your kids, you got to think about the future. You got to think about what's ahead of you, you know what I'm saying? Planning it for them before they can really even plan it themselves, you know what I'm saying? You got to mold it. You got to set the ground. You got to build the concrete, you know what I'm saying? The foundation. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. That's powerful, though. Your family, you say you got kids. Like, when you have people that you gotta hustle for that you gotta really make it make for it like fun. that's that extra edit yeah the extra motivation like you know sure. I mean? for real yeah, yeah. i want to be the best artist i can be bro everybody who come before they blow up you always hear them say i don't want to be the best i don't want to be the best i just want the money i'm not gonna lie to now one of these rap niggas I'm coming to be the best in this shit. I'm not coming to play. I'm coming to, for the charts. I'm coming for the billboards. I'm coming for most number ones. I'm coming for most singles. I'm coming for that shit. I ain't even finna sit here and lie. So when I blow up and they go back and see this, I told y'all ass, I'm coming for the number one spot. I ain't come to play with this shit. It's not only about the money to you. You know it's gonna come. You love what you do. You gotta chase the dream and not the money. Chase the dream and not the money, because if you chase the money, that's why niggas be in bad situations. That's why niggas be in bad contracts. That's why niggas be so be gone. <laughs> that's why niggas, <laughs> that's why niggas be dead. Uh -huh. Doing whatever they telling you to do for the money. You know what I'm saying? I'm just chasing the dream. This just what I, this I'm chasing what I, you know what I'm saying? What I uh -huh. dreamed of. I ain't, ain't trying to impress, you know, nobody. I don't really give a, a fuck about what nobody really got to say about me. I know the, the world gonna love me once they all catch on because I really don't, like, 
I don't care. And they, and you know, people, they, this is where we love, you know, we love that, that a person with like that chip, that shit, I don't know fuck with you, how you feel about me, chip on their shoulder, that's just who I am, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to be that man, I'm coming. I ain't trying to no diddy. I'm trying, <laughs> no, I'm trying to be the number yeah. one. Man, I ain't talking about chasing no clout, I'm talking about, I'm talking about the jeopardy. I'm trying to be on the Mount Rushmore if I can before I go. Yeah. If you ask me, if you ask me or anybody who know me, <laughs> they would be like, yeah, he said that. If you be like, he said he want to be on Mount Rushmore rap, they'd be like, yeah, yeah, Lok probably said that. <laughs> <laughs> so. Talk about just like having belief in yourself, knowing that you're going to make it. And that's really the first step is Manifest. like, yeah, manifesting it. Yeah, you got to put in the action, but now you got to just keep on going. One, you, you got to manifest everything. You And two, you got to talk to God through it all. God definitely has helped me with my process a lot. Like just even going on day to day life, like, hey God, today's been hard, or hey God, oh, yeah, hey God. Yeah, yeah, like today's been about. good. Yeah, you got to say the goods and the bads. People yeah. want to get it get bad. Then you want to talk? No, you gotta be like, man, today was good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you, God, man. Hey, <laughs> like, bro, no, for real. Like, even even with my job, right? I'm a therapeutic mentor now. The whole process, like, I'm praying to God. I'm doing whatever I got to do to get this opportunity. But boom, like the moment after, I'm just like. Thank you, God. Thank like, and you, you got to. You got, and you got to, to because you got to show gratitude for sure. real. Because he, he's here on your good days. Yeah, take it. Yeah. yeah, take that shit. Yeah, so yeah, don't just use them on your bad days for real. For sure, yeah, take that shit. This just came off the top of my head a few years ago. Weren't you doing like a show at a school or something? Yeah, I think so. It was a minute ago, though. Okay. It was a minute ago. For like artists and stuff, how do you open the doors for like opportunities like that? To be able to go to schools, go on shows, tours, things like that. How do you open up the doors for that? Because a lot of people are rapping, they just in the bedroom with it. But how do they get out the bedroom with it? It's a different world, man. Get out mm -hmm. your bedroom. You got to <laughs> get out the bed, gang. That's yeah. all you really got to do, bro. You just got to get out the... Close it, lock it, folks. To get to what you said, you got to get out the bed, gang. Mm -hmm. And start at getting out the bed. It ain't really mm -hmm. too much you got to do no more. You feel me? You got to just do it. Put your shit out. Put it out. I believe Put you. it out, bro. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Put it out. Because that's all that's really... That's what this generation is about, bro. Yeah. You just got to put it out and keep putting it out and be willing to not make no money, gang. Because sometimes, you feel me? That's what a big... People not make no money in the beginning and they give up. Yeah. Bro, yeah. you tripping. You feel me? They just start paying the NCAA. You know what I'm saying? They just start. They just start making money mm -hmm. early. You know WNBA what I'm saying? just start. They just start making. Money this right what I'm now, saying? Yeah. You gotta be willing to grind through it all. And if you're yeah. not really to grind through it all, then you ain't gonna get no nowhere. No matter what you're trying to do, it ain't yeah. gotta be right. Yeah, that's in all aspects you do. Like a lot of people have ideas, they talk about it, but it's really about. Are you going to take action? Yeah. You got to take action and you got to keep going. And like you said, I've been doing podcasting for over a year. I ain't made a dime off this. And I done spent like 10000 on equipment and everything. I ain't made a dime. But I got to be able to consistently keep doing it and keep going if I want to make it there. Especially if you're doing anything along the lines of like rap, you know, you want to be an actor, podcast, anything like that. You got to keep going because it's not going to come easy. You don't get that paycheck every two weeks. You got to be okay with getting a little money. Yeah. It's people who... Oh, they monetized. This nigga pulled in ten dollars. But bro, yeah. you don't get discouraged because you check ten dollars. You think of it, you're making money. You can change this ten to twenty. You yeah. can change that twenty to a to a hundred. You just mm -hmm. gotta keep putting out content. They yeah. showed you they willing to give you something. Only yeah. if you get a quarter. It's showing that you made something. Mm -hmm. Drive off of that. Drive off a minute. I made ten. Cause when I ain't gonna lie, when I first got monetized, I went crazy. I think I, <laughs> I went crazy. And it, this was like when I first, first, the hard. first time I ever got monetized. Cause I've been rapping for like you know a couple years. So when I first start monetizing, my first time experience being monetized was SoundCloud. Uh -huh. It got me like five dollars. But <laughs> no, bro, yeah. no, no. I was so happy though because in my mind, I knew I could make something off yeah. of this. I knew I could make something, and that's what drove it. And it's doing and something. It grew, you love. And it, exactly. Yeah. And once you see it, that little money, you become addicted because mm -hmm. it's gonna multiply pretty soon. You keep working at it, and you become the best in your mm -hmm. art. Yeah, your it's craft. gonna multiply one day. Sure. And that, that's the thing. Like we taking a risk on ourselves. We not going out depending, putting all our life energy into a check every two weeks. Like we investing in ourselves, and we believe in ourselves and, that, gonna, and yeah it's gonna pay off once you take that leap of faith into yourself just start going after your dreams that's when things are gonna start paying off because money multiplies when you work for yourself when you work for other people you know what i'm saying you got that set 
balance and set paycheck, but you really invest in yourself, it's gonna multiply. It's gonna for multiply real. for real. Yeah. You just gotta trust, you gotta be willing to. You know what I'm saying? You gotta come from the bottom. You really gotta be willing to. You gotta take the criticism. Just like I seen dude, live streamer dude, Quan. Yeah. When he did, yeah. when yeah. He, If I did close, <laughs> and he, long as he did my shit like this, that's all I need. I don't mm -hmm. give a fuck what you say. You a, you was a streamer, well known streamer, yeah. get me subscribers, however you getting down, you get me views. view. As long as you did my, whatever your even opinion is, it. you know how many people just seen it though. Yeah. Even so now, you, I'm finna, yeah. now I'm finna come back and, all right, take this. If I was a, if I was a clothing designer, yeah. you feel me? That's just yeah. how you got to go about. I yeah. seen people on the, oh, he disrespecting. Man, what? That was an opportunity. You just not looking at it like that. You looking mm -hmm. at the negative end of it. Yeah. You feel me? That's just like, if he would have got my song when I played it. Man, nigga, this shit trash, nigga. I would have been mad as anybody around me. I would have, <laughs> first of all, who was he to me? You feel me? I would have, what the fuck? Yeah. All them people just heard it. You think everybody agrees that my shit trash because one nigga said it was trash on his live stream? Nah, it's a hundred thousand motherfuckers say you think every single last one of them agree with him? No. You might have five people that really just vibe with it and go check you out and boom. That multiplies because every person that follow you, that watch your stuff, they gonna put you onto their friends. I'm in the car riding with my homie Ty. We out about four hours away from Chicago in our little college town, and we just kicking it. He playing my cousin in the car, and that and that was just the most wild shit to me. I'm like, how you know him? Oh, through my homie. Da -da 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 -da. So once you have your little fan base, it's gonna multiply. You just gotta keep investing in your 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 fan base, like that you start out with yo. Your homies, your family, that, that's your initial fan base. You invest in them, boom, you're going to grow. You're so going to grow. Going on your pages and stuff, you have millions of views collected on all your platforms. How you yeah. manage to reach millions of people that way? Just grinding, I, you know, putting out consistent music. I ain't going to lie, I started off like rapping on SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. Then I just, you know, I went from SoundCloud and I just grew. And I started, you know, going to the major platforms and I've just been going major platform ever since. You know what I'm saying? Dropping videos back to back. You know what I'm saying? Promoting the marketing and pushing myself, bro. And that's what it's really about, shit. So. I know on YouTube, you said SoundCloud too, that you're monetized. How do you get monetized on those platforms? Yeah, I'm monetized all over. I'm monetized all over, gang. Yeah. When I said that, SoundCloud was my first initial, like, as an artist, like, before niggas was even getting on platforms and shit, mm -hmm. that shit, everybody wasn't just doing that shit some years ago. I found a way out to get monetized through SoundCloud just first. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. feel me? That's early. That's way early, nigga. That's, like, before it really got jumped yeah, out for real. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's what I meant. That's why I said I made five dollars, nigga. But it was big to me because mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, they pay me. It's it was, yeah, it was, it was just the mindset of SoundCloud gave me five, so yeah. I knew I could turn that five into millions of dollars. That means you can get paid. That means keep doing what you're doing. Your money <laughs> Literally, motherfucker. If you make Literally, me, just yeah. the idea. I just got paid. I just got paid. Like. <laughs> Let's go. That's all my mind saying. I started freestyling. I just started losing my mind, gang. <laughs> and I, that's why all my SoundCloud views got to going up. And I just started going all major platforms. Got mm -hmm. a little situation. Got all started going all major platforms. More videos. Shit, man. Started going nuts. How did it feel to get your first the like set of views that you were like, damn, like that's crazy. Like, how did it feel? My first thousand views felt like that first fucking five dollars from SoundCloud. I was happy as fuck. That shit felt like a million because it's the point of... It's still a it's thousand, thousand people. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. When I first hit a thousand, yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I know I can get two. That's just how <laughs> you got to think, bro. And my first thousand was on a fucking audio clip, nigga. My first mm -hmm. thousand wasn't no video. When I dropped the video, my shit instantly... I did numbers. No doubt. I did numbers. What really made me smile on the view side when I first dropped the video when I did like 20K. And that was early. That was like... 2015 or some shit. That's crazy. That's before like. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. I know I'm an, I know I'm finna do something, and that's how I start. Just keep going. That shit got to getting bigger. I got the, yeah, I know. I, I know. That's that's just how. It, same way with the monetizing. Motherfuckers start making more. That shit don't. That shit grow. That shit don't stay the same. Shit grew. Views. That shit grew. Your following gonna grow. You just gotta stick with it. You you know it's people who get their first thousand views and it's discouraged. Yeah. That's stupid. Or there's people who get their first thousand views and like, oh, and then they let off and they just don't stay consistent. They don't keep going. They just. I got a thousand views. <laughs> now what? Now what? What's You're the next step? You got to keep going, bro. Even when you get a hundred thousand. When I got a hundred thousand, I didn't feel like, yeah, I made it. No, I'm, bro, if I can get a hundred thousand, I know I can get two hundred thousand. 
I got 200,000 views. What did you think I stopped? No, I'm, I know I can. You feel me? Yeah. I know I can do a million. You feel me? That's what I want to do. I want to I wanna do a million. One video. A million. And once I do that, I know. You get to. <laughs> I'm gonna get 10 for sure. Yeah. I just gotta, that's just how I think, bro. I yeah. know I am. You feel me? So, same way I got my first monetized little paper, the first thousand views, the first hundred thousand. That's how I treat everything. Mm -hmm. For sure. Like YouTube specifically, right? How long did it take you to get monetized out there? I had the same little YouTube channel. So, mm -hmm. I remember when some niggas was hating on me, they tried to pull that. They tried to pull that on me, like, all collective, of course, he got his views collective because he had his, his YouTube for so long. But I was like, bitch, I wasn't even doing no numbers, you hating ass nigga. You a fucking hater. You feel me? I was had, I was doing little stupid ass audios, bro. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That shit wasn't doing shit. So my shit was just sitting there. You yeah, the saying? music videos do more. You get what I'm saying? Too, yeah. yeah. You feel me? Then when I drop my videos and shit, I had dropped it on another nigga channel. So I'm not knowing the game. You feel me? So... I got monetized fast as fuck. So once I dropped on my channel, I started getting monetized because I had I had hit all of the qualifications. I was sleep on what was going on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So for you hating ass niggas that was saying that hating, bitch, I did not use that fucking YouTube channel for so many years, you hating ass nigga. I had just started using that YouTube channel and that bitch cracked, you hating ass nigga. The thing with YouTube is like it does take a while to get monetized out there if you already yeah. don't have like a if you don't a have platform, a, right audience. that's what I'm saying I had a little couple pe uh -huh. little little dibs and dabs when I got managed and shit and they said hey bro we're not finna fucking keep dropping your videos on these niggas channel we finna use your channel and we bust that bitch yeah so. <laughs> yeah because I, I seen a few on the other pages man hundred k two hundred k like I'm like damn you bust that bitch. <laughs> How would you say you, you done built up your fan base? The right song, and I'm gone. What's the importance of, you know, connecting to your audience, like, when you're making music and stuff like that? I just be me. I don't be in here, like, trying to be no super gangster and shit. That's not what I'm... I'm not saying I'm not. I'm just, you feel me? I'm just saying mm -hmm. that's not what I'm... Trying to portray. Yeah. That, ain't, that ain't my character. I come here to be the best. So, you feel me type shit. I'm a street nigga. I know, I know that I don't have to sit there and fucking bring that with me to this shit. You're gonna figure that out when you listen. You feel me? When you're gonna figure that out when you meet me. You're gonna figure who I am out. You feel me? I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'll just be me. I'm not here to be nobody else. I'm here to be me. And I feel like that's what they love. I'm me. I'm smiling and everything. You feel me? Like when they see me, a, a motherfucker supporter see me, what up, look, I'm cool, I'm shaking your hand. I'm like, <laughs> what's popping, shorty? I'm real, I'm organic, I'm genuine. That's important too, because a lot of people, they try to act like something they're not. Be yeah. For other people or their environment, yeah. they're not really true and authentic to yourself. To yourself. And it, it's hard though, it takes years to really figure out who you actually are. Your condition, once you come out, like, who your parents is, your environment, whatever, yeah. but figuring out who you who, are, who man. Who you is. Yeah, yeah. For like, who you are on the inside. Not who he who, is. Who say not you is. Who, who they say you is or, or their perspective of you, but who you are. When you look in the mirror, that's how I live. When I do my interviews on, niggas be, yeah, nigga, we fucking fuck all the ops, we killing them niggas. Da, da, da. Fuck, I don't give a fuck about them <laughs> niggas. Why, why the fuck would I get on my interview and talk about them niggas? Fuck them. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's them. That shit corny to me. That's what make the people fuck with me because I. that's how I be. I'm not sitting there. Oh, they dissed you so? Fuck, nigga. I'm finna go. <laughs> not finna fuck. give them no energy. I'm finna go get some bag and blow the niggas up. Fuck them niggas. Like, I don't give a fuck about that shit. Oh, bro, I don't. But if you play, you will lay. That's just <laughs> what it is going to be, but... I don't give a fuck about that shit, bro. That's what make me me. That's what make the people love me because they know I don't get no fuck. I don't give a fuck to, imp to impress you. I don't give a fuck to prove I'm the toughest nigga in the world. Only thing I'm trying to prove is I'm the best nigga in the world. I'm the best father in the world. I'm the best, you feel me? That's what I'm on. Yeah. That's the only thing I prove. Shit to my kids and shit. Yeah. You feel me? I'm I, not here to prove. I ain't gonna lie, I can cut that part out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> How much money would you say you put into your rap career total before you even got like paid out anything? I had put a lot of money in myself before I had got in a little situation. You know what I'm saying? I was doing everything alone before I had I had got a manager and shit and all that. I really don't know because videos cost it different then and shit. You know what I'm saying? Video was lesser. 
So yeah. I definitely put some thousands in before I got a, ever got a manager. I could tell you that for sure. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I definitely put some thousands in like from the first studio sessions I've ever had to get managers and shit and get some. Yeah. Even know, music some, videos. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All that, that was, yeah, that was all, you know, that was my thing. So, yeah, yeah. Before, because, you know, it took videos for people to actually see a motherfucker. And this, I'm talking, when I'm talking, I've been rapping so they, you got to know me to know what times that I'm talking about. Um, bro, I'm talking about the old look. I pay for that shit. Even with this podcast, right? I done spent eight, nine thousand dollars on all the equipment. I'm putting in a lot of time editing. That shit takes time. That's the hard part. Yeah, you know, I'm putting in like twenty oh, hours a week into the podcast. Yeah, man. yeah, that I'd it's be, crazy. Boy, that's that editing shit. I'd be seeing me, boy. That's yeah, that, the hard shit. I'm cool on that. that shit. <laughs> the editing editing's cool crazy. Shit. I'm cool. Edit is crazy, but like yeah, that shit too much. I don't put in so much time, so much money. You don't put in so much time, so much money. That's just what it takes. You gotta be willing to go through phases where not really getting paid. You got to go through phases where there's bumps in the road, oh, shit gets rocky. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you might get demonetized, things like that. that. Like yeah. there's a bunch of stuff that may happen down the road. But, but you, you got to keep going. Yeah. You got to keep going or you don't want it. You got to keep going when it's hard. I'm talking about the hardest time you could ever think of. You can't do it. You don't know how you're going to do it. Where is it going to come from? If you, if you don't chase it, then you don't want it. Because everybody who ever got what they wanted, they blood, sweat, and tears for that shit. Yeah, whatever you want to be. Yeah. Even your doctor had this blood, sweat, and tears for whatever he or she, anybody. You know what I'm saying? That's what it takes to get to where you want to go, man. Yeah. Sure. And you got to be the one who doesn't quit, who keeps sure. going for real. Because shit, it gets hard, man. There's sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It gets discouraging. Yeah, it gets hurt, man. Yeah, like, damn, you know what I'm saying? You see, even basketball players get injured, nigga. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Even they got to sit down sometimes because they shoulders hurt. They knees hurt. You know what I'm saying? It's just how it go. You going on the journey. It's about is you going, when it's time to sub back in, is you ready to play ball? And yeah. that's all it is. And that's what it's about. For yeah, sure. For sure. Staying so, with it. What would you say inspires you like on a day-to-day -day basis to just keep going? Like I say, just God and my kids, bro. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the main to keep going every day. Is, that's what it just got to be. Cause then like when you got kids, bro, my kids listen to my music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So my son, you can't tell my son that I'm not my fucking he got me on the top five list. On his top <laughs> five list. Like no cap. Like with all the elites, he got me on the list. I be damn, he damn, you the best rapper, you the best rapper alive, you the best rapper in the world. Cause he he like how I was. He listen, mm -hmm. he's studying it. Like he think, you know, <laughs> he think he a little superstar too. But yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. No so, cap. My son really motivated. I can't lie. My son motivated me a lot with that music. Cause he be telling me like, Dad, you should remix this song or whatever he heard. You should do this. You should. Wow, he be telling me all the time. He think I should get tattoos. No, I mean, he be really thinking he. I'm just, you know, he think he part of the team. I be, bro, I'm not getting no tax. See, I'm telling you, man. Why you choosing you not to get You missing the tax, tats, man. You missing the tax. This how my son talking to me. Yeah. Wow, like, I don't know. That ain't my thing, bro. It ain't really yeah. my thing. I probably get some tax, but that ain't never been my thing. I know he never yeah. cared about it. Yeah, that's same with me. <laughs> I never really care about it. Yeah. I'm not a follower. I'm not yeah. a follower, bro. I don't do nothing what never what everybody do. I don't feel how everybody feel. I don't go about things how everybody go about things. Don't think. You know, <laughs> I'm just different. I was just born this way, bro. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm still a street nigga, but you know what I'm saying? I just go about shit different. I think different than these niggas, man. Shit, mm -hmm. chess, not checkers. So, what would you say your workflow is when you making music? Like, boom, you step in the studio. What you doing? What steps you taking? You doing any preparation? You got anything around you? Like, yeah. what's, what's setting the mood? Yeah, what get you in your zone? When I'm in the studio, I'm not going to lie, bro. I got to keep it fun. I be in there. I be needing a lot. My lady be mad, probably. I be needing liquor. I be can't, can't go around. Can't go around to store, man. I be wanting food, bro. I ain't going to lie. I be, because I be so comfortable in the studio. It be yeah. like home. I be wanting to be like, I be smoking and shit. I be like, I'm at home. I try to make it. I try, Try to make it as like a natural environment. Natural as possible. I'll be in that bitch eating. I might be eating and recording, bro. <laughs> smoking. Definitely a lot of weed though. I need a lot of weed. It'd be a lot of weed smoking my session. <laughs> no cap. It'd be woods out the woods and my shit. I got I like people there. Some people don't like recording with people there. I like people there. The mm -hmm. team sometimes they be mad game when I be wanting people there. I be wanting people around. I draw off that. I'm a Leo too. So, you know, I, I kind of draw for, like, people being around, seeing me go crazy. 
Yeah. Seeing their reactions. You're getting that energy, yeah. You're getting that energy and really feeding off the energy, you feel me? I ain't like, like I don't ever be by myself, but when I be by myself, it just be more, that be more when my pain songs be clicking in that, cause like, I've been through a lot of shit, so if it ain't a lot of distractions around, I ain't, you know, no this, no everybody smart, I get to think about all the shit I really been through, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And that's when that shit come. So that's probably why the team be like, nah, everybody be <laughs> shit, they be wanting everybody to, man, you need to be in by yourself. Cause your words be snapping. I be talking about that real shit alone, cause that's where my mind going. You mm -hmm. feel me? When everybody around, you know I'm finna talk about what they wanna. That's probably what works too, yeah. because I be going off what people wanna hear. Then I don't be mad at, hey gang, that's hot. That's oh. hot. They gon' you know, everybody around that going yay or nay or you mm -hmm. feel me? I'm knowing how people feeling, how people, what people really wanna hear, cause shit, that's a party. On the other side of this booth. <laughs> yeah. How long does it take you to make a song? It depends. I can't put no time on that, cause. I done knocked out shit in quick, I done knocked out shit in an hour, I done knocked out shit in minutes, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It really depends on the song and how I'm putting together the, the craft of it, you know what I'm saying? Or how we really want to put it together, you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm singing and shit, it might take a little longer, but that, that's like. Do you pay for studio time? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. For sure. I know that's expensive. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I mean, yeah, not really though. Worth it. Investing in yourself is going to be worth it to mm -hmm. me. That's a little shit, though. You got to be willing to get that cheese up if you're really trying to get somewhere. Shit. Hey, uh, so also what I noticed about your music, you're very versatile. Somewhere deep inside, you got a lot of hate. And you ain't have to say it verbally. I seen it in your face. Six four told me watch they energy because all these niggas fake. Told myself, look, you the man. Can't let them trick you out your place. I know niggas crying because his brother died in the middle of the summer. When it's hot, you better not come outside. You don't bring that thunder Cause the reaper lurk outside You like he bound to put you under They're like damn God What you doing with them rich niggas Shreds so on boy I got a Glock in this bitch I don't give a fuck who he is Where he from I won't hesitate on popping this bitch And I'm too fly nigga Look at my idea I won't never tell a nigga Where I'm copping this shit And my whole gang get wild If you think we just rap We're popping nigga Topping this bitch And got shit to prove Just don't make a move Or get y'all the stupid ass Put on the news You got drill You got R&B Regular rap You got some, some low key yeah, shit, shit Like yeah, yeah. Pop shit, yes. Why you choose to stay versatile with your music? First off, I really want to be the best artist I can be, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want to have fun with, like, when I come from the streets and all that, blah, blah, blah. I know you're working on a new album right now. Yeah, for sure, man. Gangsta's Got Feelings too. That's how we come in 2024, man. Gangsta's Got Feelings too, man. I don't want to get y'all no date. I don't want to lie y'all, but we're really pushing for, like, August. What inspired that? Just the tribes and the tribulations, man. Going through shit, just letting them, letting motherfuckers know shit. A real nigga got feelings too, shit. Even mm -hmm. when a motherfucker can't show it, you know what I'm saying? I'ma just spit for the niggas who can't. I'ma just talk my shit for them, you know what I'm saying? I'ma let, I'ma yeah. get all this shit off my chest and speak for the niggas who can't get it off theirs. And that's how we gonna do it, you know what I'm saying? Speak for the gangsters, gangsters got feelings too. I don't know me, I can't fumble on the future. I done been through so much pain, trying to make my people proud. I done been through all the ups, I done been through all the downs. I done shot so many tears when nobody was around. Got an ocean full of pain and a nigga down the drum. Yeah, and that's the thing about music. Music's very powerful. Like, you got messages, put in that, you, you put portray that energy. Yeah, portray energy, emotions, <laughs> like everything, and people listen to that. And then, boom, like, music is a big part of people's day. Like, there's people that listen to music all day long. Wow. And it's like therapy for some people. For some people. Yeah. yeah. Really, I think it's really like therapy for everybody, even if they want to deny it. I don't care who you is. Like, yeah. when people try to act like it ain't, it's like, how not? <laughs> how not? <laughs> I mean, they it, probably speak in emotions that you can't even really speak out. And no matter what you're going through, you could be pissed. You play the right song, you, hell yeah, fuck you, man. <laughs> Fuck you talking about, motherfucker? Got me fucked up. <laughs> now you feel better. Yeah. You feel like you talked to somebody about it. No. Mm -hmm. You feel like you did actually spoke with somebody. About it. And that's oh, he I feel how I feel. Yeah. yeah. Hey. For sure. <laughs> Gangsters got fun too. Really, the uh -huh. whole idea just. I didn't watch gangsters cry. I didn't watch. You feel me? I didn't seen uh -huh. gangsters go through life hard situations. I didn't seen gangsters get rich, go broke. I didn't seen gangsters. You feel me? Change their life. You feel uh -huh. me? So I just just. I'm basically saying. You a human too, I'm a human too, no matter who, whatever image I'm putting out, whatever you feel that type of person I'm in, you feel me? I don't matter, no matter what I done did out here, you feel me? No matter how you feel about me, mm. I got feelings too, and I, you feel me? And that's, yeah. what I, that's what this project about, and I'm just letting everything out. And then after that, we gonna keep dropping this up. I'm just getting a couple things off my chest. 
common misconception with the media is, is you live in a particular area, you're ruthless, you're this, you're that. Even with man, like people feel like they feel like we not human. Like, yeah. and it's just, you know, through the media. How you feel about mental health and man? I don't think men, mental health even get looked at. Mm -hmm. I don't even think nobody really care besides somebody sitting, you know what I'm saying? Besides who do, don't nobody really care about like how a man mentally feel about nothing. Mm -hmm. And I ain't crying about it, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but definitely we should put more eye into it. That's a lot that's going on when it far as these, you know, what people, how people live in their life, doing yep. drugs, overdosing, p niggas dying, you feel me, killing everything. Listen to, all you gotta do is listen to us, listen mm -hmm. to the music. Mm -hmm. That's all you gotta do, listen to the music. And you will see, it's a lot of mental, you know what I'm saying? Things going on. Going on with a yeah. lot, a lot of people. Yeah. We listen to Juice World Crowd for help. The whole run of being popping. We listen to him. Yeah, we just bumping him. We not even really paying attention. The whole time like... he tell, if you go back and look in hindsight and play him and listen. Go back in hindsight and listen to Vaughn. Listen to him. They telling you I'm mentally fucked up. I'm going through these, this nigga died, so this nigga, so we did this, so this happened. They, all you gotta do is listen. Oh, I do this drug because this going on and this how I'm feeling. Nope. We just not not here to it though. We think it's just music. Niggas mm -hmm. telling you they life for real. Mm -hmm. Bro. That's deep. That's deep. Who would you say, artist wise, would be an inspiration? I would just keep it simple. If we go, if we just gonna keep it music with them, like with the, you know, with the rap, hip hop. Yeah. I would say Lil Wayne, Jay Z, that influenced me. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a good influence me. See, that ain't just who good influence me. <laughs> influence my crap like that. Yeah. That I look at him like, yeah, I like, I like that. Yeah. Like, I like how bro. I got a weird list, bro, because I'm I'm versatile. Yeah. So it's ah, that's a hard. Oh, that's hard. That's harder than anything. Cause I would say Wayne, Jay, Meek Mill, for sure. That's tough. I grew up music, so I grew yeah. up really listening. I'ma just say hip hop, cause. Okay. I got to just say that because <laughs> I pay attention all my life. You talking about somebody who been rapping since five. So, nigga, it was a time when Bow Wow was my favorite rapper, nigga. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, we going like, back, yeah. I've been rapping for all my life, so every time when we had them arguments, I always go deeper in my bag. Then niggas, they be like, this person, this person, oh, man, nigga, well, I was playing this, nigga. <laughs> you know, I was playing 50 Cent, Bed for Mercy. They, what's that? Right, nigga. Y'all don't even know that <laughs> shit. Like type shit like mm -hmm. I was one of them kids bro like I was you know bad as hell school I was smart but I was bad as hell you know what I'm saying I was going to the library typing up lyrics that's back when rap lyrics was out I used to be searching up the lyrics I used to have a book back full of everybody's song lyrics <laughs> yeah. I'm serious yeah. I'm getting my ass whooped for this like it's get to the point where I'm not even doing homework no more like if this shit was like a movie shit like a movie bro it was the point where <laughs> I wasn't even doing homework no more gang huh Print. You know, that's back with this the library, oh library day, motherfucker. Print that shit out. What fuck? Just reading, knowing everybody's song word for word. Like, uh -huh. that's why my parents used to be like, how do you know all, all the these songs <laughs> word for word whole time? I didn't you did my homework <laughs> on my life. You know, yeah. for real. So a lot influenced me just hip hop overall influenced me just period, man. Uh -huh. For sure. You mentioned Jay Z. Jay Z yeah. is not that popular with my generation. I know that. Yeah, but that's as y'all L generation for that. Y'all <laughs> L generation for nah, that. Hey, hey. But 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 he he go deep in with his music. He's not just Bro, rapping. He going below the surface. Exactly. He, and once y'all, but hope come with a little bit of age. Only reason I was jumping on the young cause my dad. You feel me? So my mm -hmm. dad put me on. But really, hope once you get older. You listen, Hov, you be know he's going retarded. <laughs> <laughs> he's going retarded. He got to yeah. look at his age, bro. He's spitting still like, jeez. <laughs> like, bro, retire. <laughs> yeah, like, bro, retire. Yo, Even Lil Wayne, he's still dry. He's supposed to retire like eight years ago. He's yeah. still dropping sometimes. Oh, Hov, nice, though, bro. Hov, nice, though. Yo. But y'all, I don't know, y'all generation, y'all really didn't get to see that shit, gang. Like, no. Yeah, because Wayne stopped, like, I say he stopped for real, for real, like, mid the 2010s. Like, stop what? Making music for real. Like, going going nuts? I mean, he, he was, he's still going nuts to this day, but I'm saying, like... Like, like quality like, albums and shit? Like, consistently, like, dropping. Dropping, yeah, like how he used to, huh? Yeah, because, bro, Lane, Wayne what, was on everything. That's what I'm saying, influence. That's my mm -hmm. influence, and I'm getting back to that. 
that's what flamed me up, that mindset. And I and that's what I used to call it, the ask my team. Nigga. I used to really call it the MySpace effect. They'd be like, what that mean? I'm dropping songs. I don't care. I would drop a song every day. Wayne would drop a song every day. <laughs> literally. Ta- no, literally. Yeah. Every day it was songs. We we searching for them bitches. Them bitches dropping. You getting your bootleg. You getting going online. You find them just Wayne songs everywhere. The bootleg man finna put them a mixtape of Wayne. Wayne already told everybody, bro. Half of the mixtapes, bro, was not even mine. They was just... Songs they was leaking and they putting mixtapes together, making Wayne covers and they putting the streets was putting he, out Wayne tapes, he, nigga. He featured on everything. <laughs> oh, he was man. on everything. You couldn't listen to the radio without listening to Wayne every three songs. Period. <laughs> and if you say that, your ass is lying. If you say not, you lying. Yeah, I know, lying. especially in my because I started listening to Wayne like 2011. 2011. And then I went heavy on Wayne to like 2015. Yeah, 2011. Yeah. Nah, I'm so I, I, I caught him like after his peak, you know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, but no. I still caught him. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying you still, you still got still a little. Got him, yeah, yeah, you still got a little <laughs> bit of something. You still. Yeah. But I'm talking about that, that like drought three, you feel me? Shit like that. You got so much yeah. music. That's what you talk about. Like when you want to become successful at this type of stuff. All it takes is one video, one that's song. Right. Like that's all it takes. Right, so yeah. you you post a song every single day. You got some your listeners can listen to that's new. You know what I'm saying? Every day, every, every day, week, whatever. Every week, yeah. However yeah. you want to load it up, but yeah. give it to them. Yeah. Show. Yeah. For sure. All it takes is that one to hit. Boom. And you, it's you on. Hit. Yeah. Yeah. And it's on. I ain't gonna lie, but major. I probably want to do something with. The boy, I don't get no fuck about what Heavy Kitchen got going on. I'm doing something with the boy Drake. I gotta get, a, I gotta get a Drake feature. I don't get no fuck. That don't got nothing to do with me. Oh, um, bro. Hey, nah. I don't know why Drake get all this hate, but I grew up on Drake too. It's Drake, Wayne, Kanye, Jay Z. It was like my top four. I grew up on Drake, bro. Even Drake was goaded from 2010 to 2017, like 20. Bro, no, see, that's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> y'all ass is tweaking, bro. Do y'all homework, bro. What you talking about then? That man been popping, bro. He, he, like, since 08, No, right? bro. We, yes, bro. Like, 08, yeah. bro. I was young as hell, bro. We was getting all of the, 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 the mixtapes and shit. I'm telling these niggas, man. <laughs> that nigga was all on Wayne shit on, on a couple mixtapes, bro. We, who the fuck is this? <laughs> you know how he was sounding... Don't do Drake. I'm, I'm telling you, bro. It's all love, bro. If I blow up tomorrow, bro, I'm telling you. But I'm like, damn, who the fuck is this? Because this is back when, you know, Young Money shit, you feel me? That all that shit was. Started, yeah, yeah, so I'm, he come out of nowhere. Just spitting the weed. He came out of so nowhere. So far gone and shit. Out of nowhere, he used to let him fake us up. Damn! Who the fuck is this? And we just got to rock with Drake since then, bro. I swear to God. It's no cap. Yeah. No cap. He's Drake tough, came yeah. like a motherfucker out of the cut. I ain't gonna lie, his voice was just like a different voice that was just on a Young Money yeah. little mixtape growing up. Motherfucker, man, who the fuck is that? <laughs> hey, Drizzy Drake. <laughs> Ooh, going crazy. <laughs> no cap, going he was, crazy. He was tough. And yeah. he, he was an actor before that. Yeah, I didn't watch the Grassley though, man. <laughs> I'm from the trenches. I did not watch the Grassley. I ain't even saying it like that. I just didn't watch the Grassley. You, I, know you, I know you see the, the, the yeah, scene I on YouTube. The little, you know, I, you got I, shot the only thing her. I've ever seen about the Grassley is the little, my, the boy in the, um, in the wheelchair and shit. And that's it. I ain't never watched that shit. I never watched that shit. <laughs> But we was outside, about to say, I'm really from the trenches. Now. What would you say is your favorite song right now that you have? Most of my favorite songs y'all haven't heard. <laughs> all right, like, all right, just a rough estimate guess real quick, right? How much unreleased music do you have right now? <laughs> what you say? This Every time we got this question, like, I had this question before. I was in front of, um, shout out to uh, Lil Visuals. Mm-hmm. We was in studio with Lil Visuals, man. Shout out to Lil Visuals, man. He asked me to. He asked me the same shit. All the guys got to go to that date. Folks got at least two, three hundred songs. Oh no, bro. Now y'all, <laughs> y'all pushing it, but I got a lot of songs. At least mm-hmm. probably like I probably got a hundred unreleased songs, bro. Yeah, because I got crazy, songs though. that's in the thing that's just there. The songs that I play on my drive, like on like what I bump on my phone and shit, that don't beat it all. I got songs that's just there. 
I swear to God, I got hooks, songs, hooks, songs, hooks, songs, 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 songs. Where you get those pants from? Shit, I don't <laughs> know, bro. <laughs> I tough. could tell you, bro. No, bro, I could tell you. Bro. Where you go shopping out in Chicago at? What's the top store you can start to go to? Oh, it depends on what type of person you is, because I'll be in the trenches. Bro, I'm in the trenches. I ain't going to lie. It depends. But, you know, it depends on you. Shit, it depends mm -hmm. on what you want to wear, really. If you want to wear, like, designer shit, you definitely got to hit downtown. You know what I'm saying? You, you just want some fly shit. You know what I'm saying? Some mics and some shit. Some regular shit. You go to, you know? Like, you know, it's basic shit, really. But downtown, if you want to put your shit on, they know where to go. They, ain't, they know where to go. <laughs> they know where to spend that money at. Yo, ass <laughs> downtown, big baller. He said big baller? <laughs> go out there and spend 2000 <laughs> On some shoes. <laughs> you try to get an outfit, that's 5K. You got any last words for the audience? Uh man, it's your boy Fly Guy Loco, man. Gangsters got feelings too. Coming soon, man. I miss y'all, man. I'm back. Better than never, man. Sorry for the hiatus. It's up, bitch. Fly Guy Loco on all platforms? All of them. Every one of them. DCL Podcast, we out. Oh, smooth. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, that boy got his, you dig it, Yeah, I know Why these niggas hate on me, I'm just trying to be great Trying to get my mama alone away from Section 8 Five kids, 25, I need food on a plate But I'm still in the hood, I gotta play it safe I lost my dad, that way, no me, nigga, I can't break Gotta get that bass, I'm a nigga, I'll do what it takes